Here's how we can use our Samsung Galaxy S25 as a webcam on computer, whether it is Windows or Mac. So the first thing that we can do is go to the Play Store and we're gonna search for an app that is called Irian Webcam. And this is the one that we are gonna use in this example. There are some other alternatives that we can use as well. However, I think this one is the easiest to set up and we can actually do this both wirelessly and with the wired method. So once we install it, we can open it and here we have the instructions what we should do next. So we also need to install the software on our computer. Here we have the website arian.com and let me show you how it looks like. So this is the website over here. We have the choice to download the app for Windows and for Mac. So simply choose the version that you are interested in. And let's go through the installation process. So over here we need to accept the agreement. Let's press next. Then we can choose the location where we want to save it. In my case, I'm gonna not change it. And I'm gonna proceed, press install. And simple as that, we can start the Iron webcam service. So we can press finish and we should see the screen that looks like this. And now we are ready to go. So this app needs to be opened in order to be able to use it and let's switch to the phone over here we can choose dismiss and another thing that is important we need to use the same wi-fi connection the same internet in order to be able to connect wirelessly and in this example we're gonna choose while using the app here as well and soon we should be able to connect and there we go here, as you can see, we have the preview of the camera and on PC it is the same. As I move my phone, you can see there it is. Here we have our webcam. Now, we can also tap on these three lines in order to switch the resolution. So we can use up to 4K resolution and it works just fine. If you need to make some changes, you can tap on this key icon in order to find the settings in here. For example, we can change the display orientation. We can choose a different camera over here. So you can also switch it to front camera. We can also use the microphone boost if needed. And we can also dim the screen in order to save power. And that is pretty much it. This is how we can use wirelessly. If you wish to use the USB cable, then we can find the instruction over here that we can simply connect the cable to the phone and connect it to the computer and then we need to follow the instructions that we will see on the screen. In this case we need to enable USB debugging on our phone so let me show you how to do that. So first of all what we need to do is go to the settings, scroll down to about phone, over here let's go to software information and keep tapping on build number until we need to provide the password and then press OK, and there we go, developer mode has been turned on. So we can go back to the settings, scroll for, further down in order to find developer options. And here we should be able to find USB debugging. In this case, it is blocked by auto blocker. So in settings, we need to go to security and privacy. We need to turn off auto blocker. And then we should be able to go back to the same develop options in order to be able to turn it on. There we go. Let's press allow since we are now connected to a computer. And now if we go back to the app, to Arian, we should see if we can use the cable. And after a short while, you should be able to uh, connect easily with the USB cable. As you can see, there it is. Now, if you have issues with connecting, if for some reason it doesn't work, you should wait like a minute or so in order to check if it sorts itself out. But in case you still have those issues, you want to open notifications, tap on USB for file transfer, switch to, for example, USB tester ring for a second, and then switch back to transferring files. And then you will once again see USB debugging. And you might want to select to always allow from this computer. So press allow and then try to go to the app and wait a couple of seconds uh, in order to see if this works. Sometimes it works immediately, sometimes you have to wait like a second or two, sometimes you need to close the app and reopen it in order to connect. Um, but 
Ideally, of course, you want to use Wi-Fi as it is the most compatible one, I think. With USB, sometimes it doesn't really work that well. But that is essentially it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.